from the course. Craig, we've held this event three times already. Three times our minds have been blown. Who have they been blown by? Well, the characters of this event. One of my favorite characters, Fridjof Tischendorf. What he did last year at the Slope Style event, purposely knuckled in the back, flipped. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you, you said that in the broadcast last year. I screamed it. Who's he up against here tonight, Brando? Some very, very stiff competition, though. Yeah, how about Marcus Cleveland out of Norway really inspired this event and took home the top spot at X Games Norway last year? What he can do with a knuckle? Only one word. Wizardry. Wizardry, Brando. Yeah, when Marcus Cleveland is on, he is tough to beat. There you see him sitting there. Will he reclaim his gold medal here tonight? Well, it's time now for the Wendy's Athlete Knuckle Hug Profile. Today, we caught up with Marcus Cleveland. Last year was the first year I got to compete here at the Knuckle Hug. I describe Knuckle Hug as like one of the more free events. You can do whatever you want on it. I like to play around with the butters to see where it takes me. I also like taking some of the bigger tricks into the, the butters as well. You can just freestyle and do whatever you want. Yeah, it's a sick event. What I want to accomplish this year is just like prove to myself that I'm still in the game. Super happy to be here. It's going to be exciting to see what's going to go down this year. And if this start list wasn't already stacked, look who joined the party. An 18 X Games time medalist, excuse me, Jamie Anderson. She won a gold medal today. Then what does she do? She gets, hey, I want to I want to ride in the knuckle hunt. And that's what she does. Unbelievable. The first woman to ever drop in and snowboard knuckle hug. But let's get it on here in the Wendy snowboard knuckle hug. And kicking things off. Note the kit change. The Note the kit change. Time. X Games medalist. Jamie Anderson. She is the queen of women's snowboard slope style. And she'll see if she can add to her Hall of Fame resume with a performance here tonight in Wendy's Knuckle Hunt. Jamie Anderson left foot forward naturally. Coming in swish, little butter 180. Into a backside 360 going yard. You could see the impact on that landing. She pretty much maxed it out. I don't know if you go much bigger than that. So it's a 20 minute jam and it's just creativity, technicality, this is the ultimate vibe contest, Craig. Dusty Henriksen is in this event. He was quoted as saying, it feels like recess. It feels like a recess from, you know, riding in slope and big air, stuff where you're really putting your body on the line. I mean, this you're definitely putting your body on the line, but it seems like a bit of a recess from that. As we said, eight athletes here in this 20-minute jam session. It's all about overall impression. And dropping in now, Lion Farrell making his second X Games appearance. That little backside 50-50 at the top was very nice okay so they're just <laughs> it he's fired up okay that's all i could say he is fired up <laughs> unbelievable lion Farrell is on one and uh we're just getting started here folks that was an interesting strategy there. Just go as fast as you can, only as far as you can. See what happens. He went yard, young legs. How about Jake Cantor, baby Jake, 17 years old, competing now in his third X Games. Sweet baby Jake. One of the nicest individuals you will ever meet. Like Lion. Going a little bit outside the course, adding some pizzazz, if you will. Front one, switch backside 540, dragging the knuckle. The if only rule is that there are no rules. Yeah. That's the only rule, which, I mean, it's a paradox, really. Let's take another look. Front side 180 goes switch back five. Oh, it looks like he tried to touch his hands twice on the knuckle, so. Oh, interesting ad. I don't know if he got the second touch. Oh, maybe just the fingernail. I have to zoom in on that one. So next up, Seba De Book, one of our favorites, has not found the X Games podium in his four appearances, but just love having him around. Big Buck is the best. He has the sleepiest style. 
as noted on that backside 180 there. Taking off well before the knuckle, clearing it, and then airmailing all the way down. I don't even think a finger moved on that back one. Well, despite the lack of contest last year, he did have a couple of video parts drop. And the, the DC Beyond Metals. video genre. Yeah. The Beyond Metals, Betty Ford. Yeah. So he's been busy. Oh, yeah. Yellow. Oh, and this is a guy that we <laughs> love to watch. Yo Aizawa. Uh, maybe the most memeable moment from last year in the Wendy's men's snowboard knuckle hook. Yo and Rene really stole the show. Yo sets up his board. Again, when we say there are no rules, there truly are no rules. You can use your fellow competitor as a feature. Reminiscent of a Monday Night Raw, you know? Wait, where'd he get, where'd he get that chair? He tagged in Yo, and then ran at him. But that's what I love watching Yo drop in, because you don't know where he's going to go. We lost it. Yo, where are you? And he took a very unorthodox approach. Said the knuckles on the right, I'm going left. I just think he appreciates every piece and parcel of this course. He appreciates every snowflake that has fallen here at Aspen, and I love that. So that's Yo's first run under 16 minutes. Let's take another look and see how much real estate he covered here. So he kind of board slides up the takeoff, carves around, little backside ollie 180 over that cutout into the landing. Unique approach, to say the least. We turn our attention now to a kid who really demands our attention, Dusty yeah. Henriksen. He's got the goods to possibly win this thing outright, Greg. Right? Watching him in practice was simply a thing of beauty. Oh, does that fakey pop underflip and then holds it, pulls it back. Which, I mean, it looks simple, but is so hard to do. Just gorgeous pop. See how it, he holds his shoulders there? As opposed to keep rotating? Looks simple, it's not. And you can already tell if this is your first go away in the Wendy's knuckle hook, the speed, the frenetic energy of this contest. We just get moving, and there we see Fridge, the inaugural Wendy's knuckle hook winner from 2019, wearing his signature backpack, and researcher Colin Bain also pointing out, if you can see, he's got a stuffed narwhal tied to his backpack. Apparently his mother sent that to him for good luck, Craig. We'll see if it works out. I always love... He's got flare, and then he puts flare on top of his flare. Remember the year he had that speaker hanging off the oh, back? Oh, sure. Oh. Oh, oh, goodness. See, this is, this is awful to watch, but you see how fast they're going. I mean, he slid down the landing and still went into the fence. Fridge one, fence zero. I love that hammer, not the nail approach, you know? But this is kind of what you get with Fridge. It's just there's nothing traditional about it. I mean, this is what got him the inaugural Wendy's Knuckle Hut gold medal two years ago. Because look at how far down after the hand drag he lands and then gets his board in front of him. That is, uh, if you're going to crash, that's how you want to do it. Thumbs up. He's feeling good. We move on to Marcus Cleveland, who took the gold medal at X Games Norway last year. He's got six X Games medals, three gold, three silver. When he in the zone, he tough to beat in any contest, Greg. Preach. He can do a cap seven and then do a cap nine. He can do a 180, then do a back 10. He can just do a back 10. And this is just on a knuckle. There's no takeoff. That's all pop. Well, as we get ready for Marcus oh to drop God, yeah. in, let's head down to the third member of our team for a vibe check. DC, what do you got? Brandon, you're heading up to me. I'm up here at the start of the knuckle huck, and man, it is just absolutely incredible up here. The vibe is live. These guys and gals, as we got Jamie Anderson in the mix, are feeling it up here. But I love the creative approach we're seeing. Seeing some athletes carve during practice up on the side transition there. Yo was hitting the wall ride on the side of that knuckle. 
that uh, well, you just saw him take that uh, very, very interesting approach on that previous run. And it's just, it's just amazing up here. I'm loving it. Dusty, not riding in a t-shirt, getting ready to celebrate his 18th birthday this Monday. Uh, a lot going on. The vibes are live. I'm loving it. How's it going in the booth for you guys? I mean, DC, it's going fantastic. And uh, for the folks at home, if you heard that comment, Dusty not riding a t-shirt, when he kind of jumped on the scene, the U.S. Open, he did his final run in a t-shirt. So a lot of people expected maybe he would do this run in a t-shirt, opted for the hoodie. Good reporting, DC. It's kind of a staple for him. Now, he was wearing it in practice all day yesterday as well. True, true. So as you see, Marcus Cleveland getting ready to drop in. The course hold over the fence has been put back down. Marcus Cleveland, what do you got? So riding his natural way, Marcus Cleveland, goofy-footed rider, right foot forward. Wow, and I mean, the track's running fast. Car's going fast today. Everybody is airmailing this thing. One note here, we did knuckle huck yeah, on the good. big air jump very good point. last year. That landing is a little bit longer, so I think everybody's a little juiced up, a lot of adrenaline flowing, you're going pretty fast, and people are going maybe just a touch too far. Jamie, Jamie A back in the mix. <laughs> Trying to add to her gold medal collection. And good to see her out here in the Wendy's knuckle hunt. Oh, little Miller flip. She doesn't really grab or go upside down, which you see mostly on a Miller flip. More of a hand drag. And she also touches the nose a little bit. I also love the goggle glove matching. I thought you might. That fires me up. Here's a second look at that. Nose drag, hand drag. The only rider with stripes tonight. So we move on to Lion Farrell. Lion, of course, from Haiku, Hawaii, also spends time in Silverthorne, Colorado, and also in New Zealand. Truly tri-coastal, Craig. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Run one, just went as fast as he could, all lead as far as he could. Interesting Whoa. strategy. Here, just trying to spin to win. So Lion really attacking this thing different ways. <laughs> 12 minutes. Again, if you're just joining us, it's a jam session. Overall impression. We don't have standings throughout the contest. So we really don't know who's going to win this thing until the dust settles and the clock strikes zero. It's really that rail jam format. Everybody rides, everybody's watching what everybody does. At the end, the judges are like, hey, that individual deserves it. And I like that. Jay Cantor! Yo! Yep. Why you gotta do him so dirty like that, Jay? That was very, very nice. Let's take another look at it. Backside one, pops up, goes cab seven. Makes it look easy. I liked that. I liked that a lot. That was fun. So 17-year-old Jake Cantor coming correct so far early this evening. Seve to book. That right there, that turn is one of the most fun things in snowboarding. Backside five hand drag. And that turn at the top, what I'm talking about, it, it, it's so reminiscent of surfing. There's this big quarter pipe. And you just feel that weightlessness. Or if you're skating a big bowl, right when you get to the coping, that sense of uh, weightlessness is, is really, really cool. And we were talking about with Sebe, he's six foot four. True. But yet it's so stylish for a guy that size. Carries himself like five, five eleven, five twelve. Or how about five foot four, Yo Aizawa? Second X Games appearance, still searching for that first medal. Remember, we've only given out a gold in Wendy's knuckle. There's no silver or bronze. And he's going again on the left side. That's how you do Andrew.
Looks like he's eyeing something up as well in this finish, Corral. I almost believe, like, you, you think he's going to get a chair, a folding chair from somewhere. <laughs> so, yo, second run in. We move on as the pace heats up. Dusty Hendrickson. Brando, in practice, Dusty did this cab one tail press front flip. Okay. So that's the same trick as his last one. Instead of going to regular, he wanted to keep it. So it would essentially just be a fakey cap three. The fakey ollie 360. Very off kilter. So here's Fridge's second go. His first run, he took down the fence. Let's see if there's any other obstacle he feels like knocking down on run number two. I mean, you really want to watch some of these knuckle hucks, just follow Gimbal God, follow Fridge off on Instagram. Yeah. They'll post, no doubt, this kind of stuff. And with a time ramp on that hand drag. Fridge off Sather Tischendorf. Trying to get that knuckle huck gold medal once again, but standing in his way, potentially Marcus Cleveland. was so sick such an unnatural way of doing a hand drag where you jump forward throw your board up and put your hand behind you and then still have the core strength to bring it back very tough he had me worried yeah. well we're just a couple of runs in here in wendy's knuckle huck and we've already seen a little bit of everything more from x games aspen when we return Oh, what up, Jack? You're up early. Good morning, Elliot. Sorry to call you so early, man, but I've just been meaning to call you. All the tricks you've been doing have been so next level. The barrel roll. I'm just wondering, where can you take it from here? Ah, uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I've actually been trying this new trick for breakfast for months now. It's called the Back 3 Honey Butter Chicken Biscuit. What is that? I'll try one real quick. My cross eye, dude, because my mind is blown. Are you kidding me? Setting the bar high again. Everybody's gonna want to try that now. Well, that might be for breakfast, but I'm hungry for dinner. I'd grab that right now, Craig. Welcome back to Wendy's Knuckle Huck here at X Games Aspen 2021. Brandon Graham again join alongside Craig McMorris on this beautiful evening for snowboarding and We've been talking about it so far. This contest always is a fan favorite. We love it. Um, so far, it seems though the riders are trying to get comfortable finding the speed and pacing of this course. I think everyone just needs to gear down a little bit, okay? Yeah. And I hate saying it, but maybe just go a little bit slower because everybody has gone yard all the way down this landing, and it's hard to uh, hard to stay on your feet. Yeah, let's take a look at th some of the first couple of runs we've seen so far tonight, Craig. Dusty Henriksen. Try to keep that at cap three. Semi to buck. Massive backside 180. Fridge off that back one hand drag. And then run one. He went right into the fence if you're just uh, just joining us now. So we're ready to set this thing back. We're in the midst of our 20-minute jam session. The riders trying to get in as many runs as they can. It's overall impression. And Jamie Anderson on her third run dropping in. If you're just joining us, it's her first time in Knuckle Huck. It's the first time we've ever had a woman compete in Wendy's Knuckle Huck. And in my book, she's in the lead. She just got three for three. Three clean pools. Yeah. 
everybody else in the field is only really looking, I, I guess, besides Yo at one solid run so far. So here's Lion Farrell. I didn't see that. He might. I think he might have went back nine or possibly back twelve. I think it was a back nine. I kind of lost him there for a little bit, but. The stoke is re real with Lion, and I love this little tidbit, and we told it last time he competed, but his mother, Angela Cochran, won windsurfing gold at X Games in 1995. Good blood. Long line of lineage there in the X Games. The classic windsurfing gold medal. Here is Jake Cancer. Okay. That Nolly rodeo was filthy. Also, forgive me, that was a 12 that Lion attempted there. Let's take a look at Jake Cantor's last run here. Sweet baby Jake going cab one, nolly back rodeo. Cool little poke in there. So here's seven to book. Very stylish. Miller flip, stale fish grab. And kind of like Jamie Anderson's Miller flip, he touches his nose on it a little bit as well as his hand. Yo, Aizawa, no one has taken a more unique line out here tonight than Yo. He's covered acres. Well, he charges per mile. <laughs> He's taking that left side again. Okay. <laughs> Using the Jeep banner as a wall ride, lands and then back threes off that knuckle there. <laughs> He's using everything and they're just dropping them down. And Dusty Hendrickson has already dropped for his third run. That was yeah, so sick. Are you kidding me? Cab one tail press, front flip out. Uses his tail like a trampoline. And usually if you do a front flip, you pop off your nose or your front foot. Dusty says, nah, I'm just gonna go right off my back foot here. Bye. Look at this, breaks him off with a little three piece. Bang, bang, bang. So we move off the fridge. Under six minutes to ride with. Now, Brandon, everybody's starting to feel it. Everybody slowed down a little bit. They're bringing some more technicality, a couple more butters in. Oh, my. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he just mashed all the controller yeah, buttons. That was. He did a cab seven, so two full rotations. Cab seven, pops, <laughs> and does he go cab double nine? Body is getting wrecked today. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Marcus Cleveland coming correct here tonight. <laughs> also, check him out on TikTok. So he landed that cleanly earlier in practice, that clip from TikTok. And to all our fans out there, if you want to join in, check out X Games Mode hashtag challenge on TikTok and post your clip. You could just you could be just like Marcus Cleveland. Exactly the same. All you have to do is a cab seven into a cab double nine. <laughs> so we move on to Jamie Anderson, who's been run perfect so far. And that continues. It's just the consistency is what floors me. I feel, like you've said, I feel like you've said that word before when describing Jamie Anderson. She just doesn't fall.
Well, we got a tweet in from Wendy's. That was sweet as honey and smooth as butter. Okay, now I'm hungry for a honey butter chicken biscuit. When is breakfast again? I am asking that question because I'm going to do breakfast for dinner. That sounds amazing. Man, that Jamie Anderson back five hand drag was... I'm still reminiscing about it. I'm also excited to see what Lion Farrell does here. Attempted a backside 1260. Absolutely no thought of grabbing. So there he goes, backside 1080, and butters it up. Not enough rotation for that back 12. Under five minutes to ride with here in the Wendy's Knuckle Huck. And in previous years, Craig, it, it might have been clear, like, oh, Fridge is maybe looking like he's got the edge, or Zeb Powell, who unfortunately, due to an injury, is not competing this year, Marcus Cleveland. This still feels wide open to me. Absolutely. I mean, Marcus Cleveland hasn't really put anything down that has pushed him past everybody. I mean, Jamie Anderson, Fridge off, Dusty, Jay, everybody's still in it. So we're wasting no time. Seve to book dropping in. Here we go. Double lawn dart, double front flip. <laughs> I was right. I mean. Yeah, they don't look super high above the ground, but when you're flying that far and landing that flat, that is impacty, to say the least. I don't know if that, is that a word, impacty? Nope, absolutely not. Very impactful is what I should say. Oh, yo. It looked like yo took that left side approach again there. Yo certainly gets more tricks in per run. Yeah. The ratio is in his favor. It's a numbers game for him. Dusty Henriksen closing in on three minutes. There's that layback we saw Marcus Cleveland do. Marcus Cleveland grab his Dusty, letting it hang. For that little layback backside 180. It's a scary feeling just jumping backwards, making sure that your hand touches, and then trying to backside 180 out. Oh, Fridge still in search of that one run, that one viral run that we will refer to over the next calendar year. He did it for us last year. Can he do it here in Wendy's Knuckle Hub? Looked like he thought he was going to have a little bit more hang time after the knuckle went away. On that one there. Now this is interesting here, Brando. Look at the clock. If Marcus Cleveland goes and then we run another rider, I believe the rest of the field will have to go as there is still time on the clock. Wow. This is control. That is not what he wanted to do. He wanted to do the cap seven and then do that cap double nine, but he knows he doesn't have enough pop off, so he kind of stops it there and holds it at cap seven. So he does two full 360s, hits the snow, does another two full 360s. That's control. That's all that is. He's so good. He is so good right now. Well, Ron, remind you fans, Sunday, X Games live action on the slope style course continues with cheap men's ski from Aspen on ABC at 1 Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Then at 8.30 Eastern, 7 Pacific on ESPN, we will wrap up X Games 2021 on the Super Pipe and Big Air. All of our X Games coverage also streaming live on the ESPN app. I'm really excited to see this with Jamie Anderson because if this will inevitably be her final run. I, I don't know what else she can do. She's been terrific tonight. Frontside Miller flip, a back five hand drag. Balls and play. Now, Lion Farrell, what is he going to do? He's been going just 
like a top. So, did get a purchase on it there. That was just... <laughs> Left us wanting yeah, more like <laughs> What? So, here's Jake Cancer under a minute in Wendy's knuckle hug. Cab one. Backside oh my. nine. Oh, my. Jake Cantor has made his case <laughs> here today. Do you think Jake's in the lead right now? I mean, I would, it wouldn't be crazy to think that. Cab one, back nine tail. And he lets go of the grab, but he kind of like pokes it on purpose. I really like that. What a run from Jake Cantor, who could walk away with the gold medal here tonight. Just seven it above. Here we go. One, two. Oh. oh. And you can hear it. You can hear that slap of the snowboard. That is uh, it's violent. That's not a base slap. I'll tell you that much. No. I mean, he is, I mean, he slapped the base there. But it slapped back a little bit here. Like, look at how far down he lands. Yo, Aizawa. So Yo going that little backside wall ride. Into the backside 180. Now, Dusty Henriksen, this is a young man with uh, upper management written all over him, honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. <laughs> that was such a cool follow cam. I believe that was Gimbal got there on the follow cam where he was kind of leading him. And uh, can you pay attention to the punk rock patches he has on his pants? I didn't even see this. So he did this trick before where he did it really proper. He put his back foot down and that front foot didn't even come close. There you can see his front foot kind no of touches effects. the snow. Jody Foster's army, body count, total chaos. Just a few of the patches on his pants. <laughs> Heard of him? <laughs> Thank God we have researcher Colin Bain. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. Doing God's work out here. Fridge, <laughs> run number five. We want it, Fridge. We've come for it. It's time for Mr. Narwhal to give you that good luck. Oh! I think he surprised himself a little bit there. I don't know if he thought he was going to get it around. My theory is, now having Fridge uh, under the microscope for the last couple of winters, is that he is so quick to double arm claim after everything True. that you just have no idea. And he just thinks, if I do this, yeah, maybe... Everybody's going to get fired up. But also, it's it's like, uh, I'm, I'm amazed I did this. I'm stoked I did this. It, it could be used for so many different things. So here's Marcus Cleveland. Could it all come down to this? Wendy's Knuckle Huck 2021. Oh. That, that is how you debate. I mean... This just escalated quickly. The footwork that he possesses is out of this world. Fakey only cap seven, catches it, gets the lift to go cap nine. And perfect, absolutely stops it. Pop, lock. And then drop it. And drop. Now, it's going to be really interesting for the judges because he tried this trick, fell, tried this trick, kind of did a cap seven, not what he wanted, and then lands it at the end. Where does that put him in our field? Did he try to block double? I missed the grab. So you didn't get the pull? I don't know if I missed. What a mystery this will be. Again, we've had no live standings. We have no idea what the judges are thinking. They could have been thinking one way, and then Marcus Cleveland on the final run could have potentially swayed it. We have no idea. And for those watching at home, let us know. All the X Games handles.
There's genuine nervousness here. Yeah, it's palpable. My fellow knuckle hawkers. I mean, everybody had two, three pretty solid runs, but there was nothing that was like, oh, this individual deserves it. I mean, Jamie Anderson, absolutely consistent through everything. Marcus Cleveland, that hammer at the end. Sweet baby Jake also had a hammer right at the end there. Fridge fought a fence. Yeah, he literally fought a fence. Oh! Dusty Hendrickson wins gold! Are you kidding me? In his X Games debut, he takes the top spot in Wendy's Knuckle Huck. Wow. Brandon, what an event. That was so fun. What a performance from this entire field. But when the snow settled, it was 17-year-old Dusty Henriksen taking home the gold.